Do you need to send that scan as an email attachment? You can do it from directly within NAPS 2, and I'm going to show you how in this video. So today's video is another video generated by a question from a viewer just like you. Uh, the viewer asked, this was uh, Everardo C. Lopez, who asked about a month ago as I record this um, uh, on my NAPS 2 deep dive video, Everardo asked, I have a question, how to send the scan docs directly to an email, please advise, thank you. And I explained that there, there is that function in NAPS too. And he asked, do I have a video for this? Well, I didn't until today, so let's do this. So let's just transition over to my desktop. I already have NAPS 2 loaded with a scan of a couple of pieces of paper in just as an example. Um, and I'm going to show you how to set up the email initially. There is a couple of steps you have to do pretty straightforward to get this set up. Once it's set up, it is a simple click and you can and you can send the attachment real simple. So you'll see up here on the ribbon at the top, there is an email PDF button. And if I click not on the button, but just to the right of it, the down uh, arrow, there is email settings and PDF settings. First, let's go into email settings. Now, I've already set this up for my Gmail account, but I'm going to change it and just go through the process once again of authenticating it to Gmail. Basically, what you have to do is tell Gmail that you, the controller of that Gmail account or Outlook account or Hotmail account, that you trust NAPS2 and that NAPS2 is allowed to send email on your behalf, and that's how NAPS2 can do this. So if I click a change, and again, if you're doing this for the first time, I think it will be just create or set up or something like that. If I do change, a window pops up with a list of Gmail, uh, excuse me, a list of email providers, Gmail, Hotmail, Microsoft Outlook, and Outlook Web Access. So I'm going to just reset up my Gmail just for the purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to click on Gmail. And notice it has an instantly launched a web page um, and if you look at the address up here, this is at accounts.google.com slash sign in slash OAuth. Now, OAuth is a web technology that essentially lets you tell one website or applica web application that this other web application, or in this case, desktop application, is given trust by you to use that account. You don't give it your password, which is great because um, if you ever change your password, you don't have to reset this up. And also there's a way to see all of the applications that you have authorized to use uh, that particular web service, in this case, Gmail. So you can very quickly take a look and say, no, I don't want to give that access anymore. I don't use that program anymore. So uh, here it says sign up with Google, choose an account to continue with NAPS2. Uh, and I've blurted out, but there's my Gmail account. I could select another one if I had more on the go, but I don't. So I'm just going to click here on my account. And then we get the message, hey, NAPS2, wants to access your Google account. And then it explains exactly what that means. This will allow NAPS2 to manage drafts and send emails, which is exactly what we need. We need to, from within NAPS2, send an email using Gmail. And then if I click Allow, this is now authorized. Uh, the other thing I can change while I'm in here is what do I want the attachment to be named? Scan PDF might be good enough, or maybe I want to call it Scan From your name or whatever, entirely up to you, obviously. So I'm gonna say, okay. So now that that's set up, that was a one-time setup, I can send a scan like these couple of pages I have here as a PDF simply by clicking the button up here on the ribbon, email PDF. So I click it. And now what it's done is it's launched me into Gmail as a web application with a scan with a draft of the scan attached, which I'm just gonna open full screen here. And we're gonna to have to send it to, um, well, I'll just send it to the internet useful example.com. Test scan attached. Of course, I can now say whatever I want. And you'll see down here attached to this Gmail, in this case, is scan.pdf, the file we want scanned. So we still, it didn't do, it didn't do anything behind our back. It simply uh, uh, conveniently jumped us into Gmail, added the attachment, and let us now do our usual addressing of where we want to send this. So I can send it. And if I go into sent mail, 
there it is. And we can take a look and just see indeed those two pages are in the PDF that was attached to that email. Now you can see what you've given this OAuth authorization to very simply in Google, simply go to myaccount.google.com, click on security and scroll down until you see third party apps with account access and then manage. And here you'll see everything you've given access uh, to Google using this OAuth authorization method. And there we can see right there, Naps2 has access to Gmail. If I click that, I can, with one more click, remove access. If I do that, Naps2 won't be able to send email using my Gmail account anymore. If, unless, of course, I went through the steps again to reset it up and reauthorize it. So you're in control of uh, what has authorization to use your Gmail, Hotmail, or Microsoft Outlook uh, email account to send email. So that's it, it's as easy as that. Uh, set up the email once where you authorize either Gmail or Hotmail or Outlook uh, to be uh, used as the service to send these email. And then you're one click away from Naps2, taking the images that you've scanned, wrapping them up, putting them in a PDF and putting it in a draft all ready for you to address and send. One other thing, there's probably a file size limitation. That is a file size limitation from your email provider from Gmail, Hotmail or Outlook that uh, Naps2 obviously won't know about. It's just saying, hey, here's a draft, let me try to send it. Um, but if you've got a scan that's gonna be more than, I think something like probably 20 or 30 megabytes, you might find that either your email provider won't send it or just as often the recipient's email provider won't be able to receive it and you'll get some error saying file size uh, limitation exceeded. So you probably won't be able to send a 200 page book scan using this method. But if you're doing other routine office scans with uh, NAPS2, this is gonna be a real easy time saver for you. So I hope that answered your question, Everardo. Um, and anyone else, if uh, there's something I missed, something that's not clear, something you might be having trouble with, but I can certainly try to help. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. If you like the video, hey, thumbs up is gonna take you a couple seconds and it just helps get the word out about these videos. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, won't hurt my feelings. I really want your sincere feedback. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one.